Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to do an introduction on AC and DC coupled PV solar system. Before we start with our introduction, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to our channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have a special attention in your requests and have access to our models. Or you can as well donate to our channel so that we can continue producing or doing or recording more videos like this. The system is considered as a DC couple Due to the energy source, PV array and battery energy storage system are connected in the DC side through a charge controller. We have two types of DC coupled system. The first type is solar charge controller is outside of solar inverter. From PV array, it is supplies to, to, to solar inverter the same time to solar charge controller. The second time is a DC coupled hybrid PV solar system which is the charge controller is inside of hybrid inverter in a hybrid you find two you find the input for PV array and input for battery storage and one output for the AC side the general advantage and disadvantage of a DC coupled PV solar systems are advantages high efficiency low capex capital expenses compared with ac coupled pv solar system capex is the initial cost disadvantages it's more complex for system above six kilowatt due to the multiple strings it can be more expensive with a system above six kilowatt due to multiple strings and will require bigger solar charge controller the inverter size is limiting the total power delivered to the load. It is slightly lower system to power high AC loads due to the conversion process. The AC couple are normally used for large scale PV solar system. It's normally used it normally uses a solar inverter coupled with a multi-mode inverter, bidirectional inverter, to manage the operation of battery energy storage system during charging and discharging mode, as well the utility grid. This, the AC coupled system are normally divided in two. We have the DC side where there is a PV array and the, the solar inverter to the combined AC combiner box. And we have a DC side, we have another DC side from AC side of combiner box, we have a battery and our bidirectional inverter, which convert the AC side from combiner box to a DC, to a DC current to charge the battery, and when it's, char when it's discharging, a DC to AC. And this is another technique you can be used in order to continue supplying when the grid is not continue producing PV array can still produce when the grid is not supplying the solar inverter from PV array will will detect the voltage of bidirectional inverter and then will continue supply the general advantage and disadvantage of AC coupled PV solar system advantage higher efficiency up to 97% when powering a large scale AC load. It has a lower efficiency cost for a system above 6 kilowatt. It can be used as an AC coupled microgrid. In microgrid, the inverter size does not limit the total supply power to the load. The PV array and the battery energy storage system can apply can supply at the same time to the load during the load shedding that is the main advantage of ac couple compared to dc couple disadvantage of 
AC coupled system. It has lower efficiency, 85% to 95% during the charging of bed of energy storage system. The system cost is slightly higher due to the additional DC AC inverter. Without the grid, we will not be able to charge the battery. During the load shedding and the, B and the battery energy storage system is low, the system will not supply. The system is complex compared with DC with a DC couple due to the, an additional DC AC inverter. The solar inverter capacity is normally limited to the inverter charging ranges. The solar inverters are slightly more expensive for smaller system. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video.